Hey, um, some time ago, uh, one student came to me and then, uh, of course, he was not looking very happy. I asked him, what happened? He started telling me that uh, I give all what I had all the time, all resources, all attentions, everything I had, I gave to the examinations and then I could not pass the examination. I asked him, uh, what could be the reason? He says, I have no idea. I was always concentrated on giving whatever I had my time, my energy, my whatever I have got. I was giving 100% and I am a reasonable student with a reasonable background. I thought I'll pass, but then I haven't. I would like to tell you that a lot of you are uh, doing efforts like that and then you are not auditing your performance. Today, I would like to talk about the requirement of auditing your own performance and that is very vital. This word audit comes from the word auditus, hearing, or you can possibly say order, that means to hear. Because in the older days, when people used to do audit, they used to speak. And then it is from hearing that we have got this word is all coming from. I like you to audit your performance. I want you to come out of your subjective self and then be objectively look at the way you're moving the direction you are moving, how you are actually performing. That is very vital. And then once you come out of your subjectivity of your performance, you would get to know as to how you are actually moving towards your target. In fact, auditing is a very, very old tool. And it basically tells you as to how you are realizing the potential that you have got. The audit can be of the system, audit can be of individual as well. The different types of audit, you can possibly look at those internal audit, external audit, um, tax audit, compliance audit, operational audit. I don't want to go into those different types of academic nature of audits. But I, I know that the failure and success all within us. If we have been conscious enough to keep auditing in the direction that we are moving, one would actually know in good time that how the performance of the person has been there. I would like to tell you that there are two types of audit that you should be doing it for your own self. One is operational audit. When you are actually looking into the resources that you have got, the kind of time that you have uh, utilized, and the efforts that you are putting in and how you are executing that, that is one kind of audit which you can call that as uh, operational audit. The second type of audit which I would like you to do is what I can possibly identify that as a compliance audit. In compliance audit, you try and see that whatever course correction that you did as per the previous audit, how you have actually executed. And this is a very vital component of your audit. And then if you are doing this compliance audit, you are actually auditing your own audit. Course correction is ensured. And then you are moving on the right trajectory almost all the time. In fact, I must tell you, it's, 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 this whole process of auditing is actually learning of success. And audit to me is like work in progress. I mean, you should audit before the system audits you. Before the result comes, you should have your results in hand. I think those who are not auditing, they're exposing their efforts and energy to a greater extent. In fact, audit is learning the art of success. If you are auditing in time and doing course correction in time, there's no way that you cannot reach to your destination success. My best wishes are with you.